In Spirit 2017, we now have a new 3D viewer called the, it's in the view drop down, the ST3D viewer. And this replaces the older O2C player for uh, quick viewing of the model. I'm just going to click on that and open the 3D viewer. What's different about this is that you can leave it open all the time. It shows the textures of the model. And you use your left mouse button to orbit around the model. You hold the scroll wheel down to pan and you can use a scroll wheel to zoom in and out and this button here when you make a change to your model all you need to do is click on this button here and it will update the actual model so if we try that if we just go here and we just park that and I'll just go into a plan view and maybe I'll draw a piece of wall coming out of there and around like that and just update push update on that I need to bring that up there. Yeah, push update, and that shows that piece of wall. So if I take it out, undo that, update, and the 3D viewer updates. You've also got options in the drop down here. You can, under actions, you can imp import a model with these formats. This is the format for the uh, ST3D viewer, and this is an SDL, which is a common shared type mesh type format. So you can bring models in through those two formats. You can export the model. I'm going to export that um, to my desktop. I'm just going to call it test. And what will happen is we will have this new viewer, which is on the internet. So you can send the client that particular file. I'm just going to make that fit on screen. Okay, so this is a, uh, a web viewer, but it's all part of that uh, ST viewer. So if I go into actions here, I can open model. And I'm just going to go desktop, test, open. And there's a model that the client can actually view and look around their, their design that you've done for them. You've also got a save a preview. So if you have a view on here that you want to show up all the time. So let's have a view around the back here. And I go save as preview. And that's done. So in the file welcome dialog, we should have under preview. Now it may, it may happen under a restart or I may need to save. But that preview will come up in there that you've just saved. Under, we'll just minimize that under presentation. You can change the background color. You can put in a background scene like a ground and a sky. You can turn on a grid which shows the actual um, ground plane. We're showing the origin, so I'll turn that on and off. This is the XYZ origin. And parallel view, at the moment it's in perspective, but if I click off parallel view, I get um, like an elevational view and then under views we can go front, back, left, right and top. So we get true true line elevations. I'm going to turn um, perspective back on. Clipping. What you have here is, I just need to tick that. So you have this plane here and I need to make that a bit bigger I think. I'll just bring this. down like that. So you have the Z position. See what it's doing there, that clipping is creating a section through the actual building. The Z here, if I change that to 3, the plane or the cut will change. And update that. See it's cut that higher. If I change it to uh, say 4, and update and I'm changing that. The X X and Y moves this whole cutting plane sort of along either the X position or the Y position. Now and lastly we've got walkthrough. I'll turn that clipping off. I wonder if I can move that button. No. I just need to make the window a bit bigger. There we go. Walk through and you've got I'll bring it here. So under walkthrough active, you've got this person here that you can place anywhere 
on there and you can walk up down look around look around mouse so I I click on I I click on that one but there we go left mouse button and I'm actually stationed in that point and I'm looking around where I was stationed so that's some of the things you can do with the uh, 3d viewer Thank you.